We are Brad and Christy Weinert. We currently live in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. We have been here for approximately two years after 30 plus years in Argentina with World Gospel Mission. Yeah, and actually we, we moved back quickly due to pandemic, but we felt it was time to move back to the U.S. And, and the Lord just had brand new ministry opportunities waiting for us from basing right here out of the U.S. So it's been an exciting time. Uh, we served as pastors of churches for a number of years. Um, administration, that's part of pretty much every missionary's uh, job description. They're involved in administration somewhere, uh, either through finances or leadership on the field. We did a lot of discipleship. We did a residence for single young ladies, um, university age. Um, we felt led to that as the city where we lived has large universities, but there are no dormitories. So those coming from outside the city have to find a place to live. And so that was a very vital ministry, especially among the Christian young ladies at the university. <clears throat> those are the, the main things that we were involved in. Um, of course, there's always a lot of other little things. And I'll let Christy share more of what we are currently involved in here in the U.S. We can't spend 35 years or so among Latins and in a Latin culture without that being so ingrained, even, even Spanish. When we moved to the U.S., we had a hard time figuring out how to do things here after so many years living somewhere else. And we knew the Lord had something among Latins with us for the next step, but it kind of all unfolded at the same time. World Gospel Mission felt they were ready for this really new wave of missions of bringing in people from outside of the U.S. to become missionaries with World Gospel Mission, not just a Latin married to a North American, but bringing in entire Latin families, and so that's where a need was, uh, was had arisen for someone that understood Latin culture that could speak fluently and could help Latins come into WGM both through the application process and then helping them get onboarded and connected and learn who WGM was. So we became the first mobilizers of those out of Latin America with World Gospel Mission. We appreciate that EBCC is a praying church. And so when we bring you prayer requests, we know that you will put those before the Lord. So I think what's big on our hearts right now as missionaries of many years is seeing new ones getting to their field. And where we have one Latin family that are just returning to their field in Albania and another one leaving the end of the month with two little girls. And so we're very, very much cognizant as those who've gone before in this, those little ones are doing a big uprooting. There are two children in each of those family and one is returning. They've lived there for a little bit. And so they're returning, but we're praying that the Lord would bless the Blasco and the Acosta families as they learn a new language, learn a new culture. They come out of Spanish, but they're gonna be learning Albanian. Uh, they have a little bit of Italian, which can help them there, but another big learning curve. And so we just ask the Lord to go before them, prepare friends for the children, uh, just open up the ministry before them and help them in that. And as both of these families come from Argentina, we, we mentioned that there's a big tax on the funding that comes from their churches in Argentina that are funding them. And so the Lord can raise up other opportunities for some other income, special offerings, um, even ways to maybe make some income in the country, but to make up for that gap that the taxes take out of that 65% when you send dollars out of the country. And then we have a, a training. It's our actually the first one we have helped put together uh, for some of our newer Latin families in May, the weekend of the 20th. And so we'll be bringing, it'll be virtual because we'll have some from both sides of the world. So it's gotta be mornings so we can get people on there from all different time zones. So that's something we haven't put together before. And so we'd ask prayer for that tra training time that we'll be doing virtually in May. We really do appreciate our interaction with East Vancouver and their support and interest in our ministry of mobilizing Latin Americans for missions around the world. Thank you very much for your prayers and support of our ministry.